guys it's Riles. i'm back at you one more again i hope everybody's having a good day lord knows i am i had um got some things accomplished today and kept on hearing my dad tell me how proud he was of me you know of how much i've grown um because it's like sometimes when i get by myself i start thinking about dreadful stuff and i try not to and it just i guess it's just that that old thing with depression that if you've been like that for so long it's so hard to snap out of it and i know i've been doing really good you know little minor hiccups or whatever but you know that's life but today was a true test for me and um i knew something was going to happen today but i just didn't know what it was so um i had to go to the grocery store and i'm you know out talking to my daughter you know she has some things going on so i was trying to calm her down so when i'm outside um i see my adopted father my monster in the closet and i see his face and he's like oh my god you know am i gonna come up and you know the old Roslyn would have probably when i would have found all this stuff out and i would have been all right unless I would have seen them, you know, it's like out of sight, out of mind. It didn't, I really didn't feel anything. Um, at this moment in time, I really don't feel anything for them. You know, I just feel like, oh, okay, these are just people that I shared a memory with and I just so happen to have the same last name as them. But I don't, you know, I don't mean them any ill will or anything like that because I already feel like whatever is meant to happen, it'll happen. But, you know, whatever goes on in the dark also comes on in the light too. So uh, when I seen him and seen his facial expression was totally priceless because it, it was just like, oh, snap, you know, is she going to come over here and cuss me out? You know, she knows the truth now. And I haven't talked to him in almost close to a year. And um, I told them, you know, they they would invite me to go meet some of the family I've never met. And it used to really tick me off because I was just like, how how dare you? <laughs> like, how dare you sit up here and you pick and choose what family members you want me to meet? You won't, don't want me to deal with my real family that actually wants to have something to do with me, but you want to deal with, want me to deal with people that you have already probably posted up a, a bad uh, vibe about me, you know, because it was just like, anytime I would meet somebody that they they were really close with they will always give me this you know this look like they couldn't stand me and i'm just like what did this woman say or what did they say about me to where they're already painting a bad light about me and don't know me but you know nowadays it just doesn't matter people are going to like you if they want to like you and people are not going to like you because whatever so it didn't matter to me but just to know that i can see him and just smile i just gave him one of my dad's smiles like god bless you and I I was so proud of myself. All I hear is like my spirit guys like, yes, she passed. <laughs> she passed. And I was just like so proud of myself because I never knew how I was, how I was going to feel when I actually saw them because I have not saw them since all this stuff was going on since my dad's actual passing. I uh, probably last time I've seen anybody was like my stepmom and this is when it was her birthday and she was trying to tell me how my dad was gay and how he was ugly he wasn't really attractive you know trying to hit below the belt and saying he's not your dad i said anytime she she's getting ready to pop out of a lie she always laughs first and then she'll say something so i already knew you know what dead giveaway they, they've done so many things that make everything look obvious they were hiding something so i'm i'm just like you know what i'm gonna go on with my life because i know the truth as long as i know the truth and I'm sharing my story with you guys, and you know the truth. Um, that that's all that really matters, you know, to me. Um, and it, it's just I feel so good because the fact is I've actually came out, you know, knowing my true self and able to make videos and give motivation to people that might have something going on. Because I'm here to tell you stuff, you know, stuff we go through stuff every day, and I'm not trying to say somebody's is stress level you know stress level of things that they're dealing with is more important than somebody else's because everybody's dealing with their own battles you know we just you know we just have different devils and demons we got to deal with and it's just so happy to be mine as you know my adopted father and his wife and you know their family but um 
well, the immediate family. I don't know if my family, like my aunts and cousins and stuff, know about this situation. I hope they didn't. But, you know, I just have, like, uh, little incidents where I remember we used to have family gatherings at their house. And I remember one of, it, it was either somebody related to them on my adopted mom's side, or it was just a friend of the family. And she used to joke, talking about, this is when I was, like, younger, around 15, 16 years old. And she was just like, aha, I know who your real dad is and you don't. And I'm just like, that's not funny. I said, who's my dad? What are you talking about? Who's my dad? And, you know, uh, my stepmom had to hurry up and stop her because she was running her mouth too much and, you know, listening to adult conversation she wasn't supposed to. So now I can actually look at the stuff like that. And I'm just like, wow, you know, I just feel like I'm having good karma happen to me because, of, you know, I used to look at the things I went through and tell people, you know, I've done so many good things for people, you know, and they constantly stab me in my back or, you know, dog me out or had something bad to say about me. But they weren't talking about that you know, when they were rolling hard with me, but you know how some people are, but I just feel like if God is for me, I, <laughs> who can be against me? You know, I had to tell somebody the other day, you know, I just really didn't know if I trusted them or not, and I'm still feeling a certain type, type of way, but I just feel like, you know, nobody's not going to be able to stop this. You know, if this meant for me, it's going to happen. If this meant for me to be with my family and the truth is getting out, you know, it's going to happen. Um, so I just had to tell you guys about this little quick, you know, experience, you know, I'm just so happy that I, you know, I really have evolved because I always thought to myself, how would I react after this long time? You know, how would I react to them if I seen them out on the street or, you know, long as they didn't say nothing to me or try to approach me about anything, I don't have nothing to say. I really don't. I don't, I don't have anything to say. You know, unless you're going to come up and apologize to me and tell me the truth and give me all the information to get with my family. If not, we don't have nothing to talk about. <laughs> we really don't. You know, I, I used to always worry about when I first started these videos, um, how would they react if somebody told them about, you know, me telling the family secret. I really don't care. <laughs> I really didn't. You know, now I don't. You know, I just, as long as I know that I'm able to help somebody get through something, or, you know, I was able to inspire somebody, you know, you never know what somebody's going through until they have to listen to somebody and just like, dang, you know, I, I can listen to somebody's story, the next person. And I think that, you know, what I'm going through is so horrible, but these people got something way worse than I'm going through. It makes me feel grateful and be appreciative uh, about the things that I have. You know, I try not to complain about the things that is going on around me. Just be blessed for the things that I do have. But um, I'm not going to take you guys' time up today. I hope everybody's having a good day and stay blessed with love and light. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, uh, contact me. Um, and just tell me how you are about, you know, the comments or, or, or the things that I'm going through. If you want to go ahead and share your experience about what's been going on with you. And I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Peace. And be wild.